up y'all it's poppin it's diva to this video by real life lore this is how the universe is way bigger than you think i actually reacted to this video a couple years ago that video is no longer up so i'm gonna react to it again i've had new people come and you know ask me to react to it shout out to my new subscribers out there i see y'all um and yeah if you see me react to this video in the past Shout out to you as well for still watching me. I fucks with you. Thank you for your support. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to react to this video again. How the universe is way bigger than you think. I have literally reacted to thousands and thousands of videos. So I don't even remember what this video was like. I don't remember. I remember it being an interesting video, but I definitely don't remember the details at all. This came out in April of 2017. I'm pretty sure... I reacted to it very shortly after it came out, so doesn't ring a bell, but we about to hop into it. I'm excited. Let's see how the universe is huge. Let's watch. You live here on this planet somewhere, and everything that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in reality, the moon isn't this close to our planet. It's actually about this far away. 384,400 kilometers away from you right now on average. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance. It would take you about 160 days to drive the entire distance. Despite this incredible distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth. And that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. On average, Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that mm. distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. This is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody has ever said something something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, that everyone dot. you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every <laughs> superstar, <laughs> every supreme leader, every saint and sinner suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently is traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. What? Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. You drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. When we zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. Zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own local group inside of here, and the distance from one what? side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. But even the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. What the, the distance fuck? from one side to the other is 520 million light years, but from even there, oh we can zoom God. out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. To any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. 
What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. Sheesh. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros, that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. That is so crazy, like, I said in the other video I reacted to, the universe size comparison is just so weird like how teeny tiny we are and this video went in way more detail than that other video and it's just like what the fuck so there are so many other life forms out there like there has to be there's no way that we're the only life form like that that don't make any sense super crazy and interesting to think about i don't remember any of this video to be completely honest with y'all i don't remember this at all so it's like watching this for the first time is just super dope let me know what y'all think about the video, though. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!